Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... Ah, I don't know, that thing. That magic. You see it in the movies. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From that, that line of work. Be a good guy for once, a family man. So, I bought a big house, came here, put my feet up, and thought I'd be a dad like all the other dads. My kids would be like the kids on TV. We'd play ball and sit in the sun, but, well, you know how it is. game for a lot of years and I got out alive. If you want my advice, give the shit up. Skeletons in your closet. It's in the gloom outside. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise yes. or they ain't going. I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? That house right there, with the yellow stairs. I don't care how many cars you own, you ain't changing. I'm getting my money in the hood, I'm cool. Cool what? Slinging dope and throwing up gang signs? Your son, James. He's a good kid. Oh my god! Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. Yeah, whatever. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. Oh, it's What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I want something that isn't this. Dad! Jimmy called you! Bitch! I want to be a good dad. Love my family. Live the dream. Why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? Come here! At the same time, I really want the other stuff, too. And you're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I'm pretty average for this town. I think you need a new therapist. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? That's all we got? That's all I hear it is.
I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounding more and more like a snee eye yes every day. <laughs> Tell him this is celebration, bitch, yeah. I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Ooh, courtesy of a hundred feet. Got my grips and essays in all reach. Ah, gangsta shit. You ain't got no respect. I got respect for reality. Enjoy the holes, homie. Yeah, whatever. I ever tell you about Trevor? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Major drug deal. Real hillbilly type shit. Bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. But it's the same <laughs> old tune. Fiddling. Back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh, please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishing. Oh. Oh. New in town, I'm making friends, all right? A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. Oh. Just keep him away from me and the children. Nice new tits, by the way. What is wrong with you? That abandonment issues? I see a shrink once a week. Oh, I've seen the world. Yeah! Take a shot, amigo. Looking at the back of me. <laughs> Boy, massage. Uh, no, no, I really don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? But I don't think Hank done him this way. No. I don't think Hank done him this way. With Grand Theft Auto V, Rockstar have tried to reimagine the open world game in a number of ways. The game world is beautiful, massive, and diverse. A sprawling, satirical reimagining of modern Southern California, covering mountains and oceans, expensive stores and strip malls, urban decay and untouched wilderness, beaches and backwoods, the sublime and the ridiculous, greed and hypocrisy. You tell me exactly what you want, and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. For the first time, the game features not one, but three would-be heroes. So now what? Michael, a once successful bank robber, and now less successful family man. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just say to me? Stop it! You're ruining my yoga! Franklin, a hungry street hustler convinced he's surrounded by morons. We can't repo the asses of a dead man, bitch sitting cheap asshole. And then there's Trevor. Fuck. The less said about him, the better. Introducing three lead characters transforms both the narrative into one interwoven story and the structure of individual missions. Players can cut between vantage points. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. And from one high octane moment to another. Got you. He's got support. Get us out of here. Roger that. This helps to give missions new levels of diversity and intensity. Damn. When not on a mission, the use of three lead characters also allow for a touch of voyeurism. As you can drop in at any moment and find out what your new friends have been up to as they go about their days. Jeez, Pop. Too much more of that and maybe I won't be dead by 35. The world is not only huge, it's packed with a vast array of things to see and do. Cars to customize. Planes to fly. Clothes to buy. Sports to play. Nirvanas to pursue. Oceans to dive. Animals to spot, hunt, and be hunted by. 
freaks to watch, meet, and befriend. So get the hell out of here! Bounties to hunt, no, no, no. and on and on. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. There's also been a huge focus on mechanics in the game to make every aspect as fun and fluid as it is broad. Everything from driving and shooting to tennis and bike riding feels fun and responsive. However, alongside all of this leisure, people also have to take care of business. For all their pretensions, these men are dangerous thieves. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack. To survive, they have to set up and pull off a series of increasingly audacious heists. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? The player sets these up themselves, then decides how they execute them and with whom. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart. Let's go. Or we go in loud and dumb. Let's go! Gentlemen, this is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing! After the take is divided, you decide what to spend your money on. Anything from sensible investments, like tattoos and fast cars, to risky ventures like stocks and Los Santos real estate. And then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, which we will show you properly soon.